combinations versus permutations. Say you have a group of objects and you want to take a subset of those objects. For example, draw a five card hand out of a deck of 52 playing cards or choose three ice cream flavors out of 31. Want to know how many subsets are possible? Combinations and permutations calculate the number of subsets you can make. So what's the difference? There is one key difference between combinations and permutations. The difference is determined by the question, does order matter? If order does matter, then you want to calculate the number of permutations. An example where permutation applies is determining first, second, third, and fourth place in a Mario Kart race of eight drivers. However, if order does not matter, then combinations is the calculation to use. An application where combination applies is drawing six numbers out of 49 in a statewide lottery. Let's take a group of five symbols, asterisk, dollar sign, the at symbol, exclamation point, and the percent sign. We are to choose a subset of three symbols out of these five. For permutations, because we are taking order into account, the three subsets, asterisk, dollar sign, at, asterisk, at sign, dollar sign, and at sign, asterisk, dollar sign, would be considered three different subsets. For combinations, order does not matter, so the three above mentioned subsets would be considered the same subset. In general, the number of permutations is usually greater or equal to than the number of combinations. Before we dive into the formulas, let's review what the factorial function is. For any integer n, n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 and so on times 3 times 2 times 1. If n is equal to 0, then 0 factorial is defined to be 1. As an example, 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 120. Let n be the number of objects in a group. Let r be the number of objects in your desired subset. Then the number of permutations is calculated by n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. For the example, the number of permutations where n is equal to 10 and r is equal to 3 is 720. The number of combinations is calculated by n factorial divided by the quantity of r factorial times n minus r factorial. Note that this is the number of permutations divided by r factorial. In our example, the number of combination where n is equal to 10 and r is equal to 3 is 720 divided by 3 factorial or 120. Thank you for watching. You can catch my mathematics blog at edspy31415.blogspot.com. Have a terrific day.